Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome the freaking. We are live on Twitch. Twitch, would you like to say hello to the YouTube gang? We are going to be listening to Linkin Park's official visualizer for Q-W-E-R-T-Y. I am pretty excited to listen to this. Um, but before we jump into it, as usual, just a friendly reminder to please like and subscribe. And with that said, Nar, the sass is... No, it's not take 23. It's take two. I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> okay, let's jump into this. Oops, my finger slipped. Boop. Oh, it's gonna be a heavier one. Or you can tell. Oh, right off the bat. Oh. Yeah. I didn't think that I had a debt to pay till the king would take all I had left away. He said you wouldn't put me to the test of okay. day. But I remember you saying that yesterday. There was a time when your mind was interesting. Oh my god, Chester's vocals are just donk a donk a donk. Um, it's it, whenever we do listen to Linkin Park, I always have, at least initially, I always get like a bittersweet kind of um, a bittersweet emotion. Uh, and I think everyone kind of has the same thought process in terms of like um, people who have enjoyed the art that chester has put out there and the talent um that he had uh because his screams are just like i think we all know they're great they're freaking they're they just they're full they're full of emotion um but it's really interesting what they did with this because i'm like he's rapping or at least on the verge of it, you know, like it. It's interesting because it's like, I mean, I guess there's other songs of Linkin Parks where they kind of had spoken word parts, but um, he hasn't really had any. I don't think any clean vocals in this yet. It's been harsh vocals. And then he's had like this rapping. Um doing the lyrics and stuff and i don't think i actually i don't know if he will which is really interesting because it's it's kind of um just showcasing a different side of the band a different side of uh chester as an artist um and then it's also the visualizer is pretty cool and it's i don't know it, honestly it makes me think of like an embryo egg and then at certain moments, it kind of, uh, they've put, um, they've kind of implemented his, his face into portions of, of, uh, all the stuff that's going on here. Um, but, uh, let's continue this. Let's continue this. Say, seems like we never would talk the right way. Every other minute, I'm right. off of my Just place. You drop what I made, and thought you might stay. So, I'm guessing that you probably know when you're inside, taller than you want to be cold. Like a pill, I couldn't swallow, and it swallowed me whole. Another lie, hard to follow till it followed me home. And like that, broke you down. I'm
I'm digging the guitar in this. It's heavier. Okay, it's interesting because also, like, if you look at some of the lyrics here, um, it's interesting. Okay, here's one thing. I'm interested to know why the song is called Q-W-E-R-T-Y. I mean, did they not come up with... Were they were they still playing around with the name of the song? Because I mean that uh, is on your keyboard. It's just kind of like the first six letters. Oops, Rachel, don't press things on your keyboard though <laughs> when you're counting. Um, because a lot of it is talking about like like these simple thoughts. You swallow them whole. Another lie, hard to follow. They follow you home. The lie is so out of control. You hide behind your lies. Your lies, you hide behind your lies. You're lost inside that cold disguise behind your lies. Like it's like very heavy on kind of this self-discussion of hiding behind yourself and lying to yourself. Like the pure thoughts you stole, it's going to swallow you whole. Another lie hard to follow, it followed you home. And like that, broken down a victim of your lies. Um... And then it goes down to you're faking. Oh, no. Did we get? Yeah, we did get to that. You're faking. You're mistaken. If you think I'm taking what's pouring out of your soul forsaken, what what would take me everything about everything about knowing soul broken down a victim of you faking your mistaking? If you think I'm taking what's pouring out of your soul broken down a victim of your lies. So whether actually it might also be talking about um, not so much internally, but also Maybe actually it might solely be talking about somebody else and their lies and how that affected somebody else, you know? Interesting, interesting. But let's uh let's finish this up and then um yes, we'll discuss a little bit. what they did with the drums there okay um so yes um yeah it's a lot it's a lot because it almost hmm it in the beginning i kind of thought he was talking about himself but again because even though he does say, like, you hide behind your lies, you don't know why, you cross the line, even though he's saying you, 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 um, I mean, sometimes that can also be, like, you talking to yourself, you know? And so at first I kind of thought he was talking about himself and talking about, like, lies with himself. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's like about somebody else and the effect that that had, or if it was just him talking about um, like inner emotion types of stuff, but obviously in song form. Uh, but that was interesting. That was different. Um, and I enjoyed listening to that. So thank you so much for recommending. I hope that you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.